Welcome to the prayer for all your needs. This is simply a prayer I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself. Speak it daily or listen to this over and over again, and allow the Word of God to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us. And anything we agree upon is touching, you will surely do. The Bible says if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. Father, in Jesus' name, there's no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the listener who desires a prayer for all their needs. You are the listener's source, Father. You are the one who provides all their needs. Hallelujah. Lord, you provide food, clothing, and shelter for the listener and their family, and they are grateful. They are forever grateful. Right now, we bind the spirit of fear and rebuke it in Jesus' name. Please help the listener, Father, right now to take all their cares, their worries, anxieties, concerns, and anything else on their heart and mind and to cast it into your capable hands, Father. We declare that the listener is not anxious and worried about their life, what they shall eat and what they shall drink or what they should put on. No, your word says that life is greater in quality than food and the body more than clothing. Praise you. We lift up every single need of the listener, spiritual, emotional, physical, relational, financial, Father, any and every need. And truthfully, you know even before we've asked what it is that they need. Father, we thank you. We ask you to liberally supply, fill to the full their every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, we decree and declare that they shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, Father, that proceeds from your mouth. Your words were found, and they did eat them. Yes, Lord, they were a joy to them and the rejoicing of their heart. Praise you. Angels, ministering spirits, we speak to you. Go forth now and bring in the listener's supply according to God's promise to provide for them in Jesus' name. Lord, you are a very present help in trouble, and you are more than enough. Yes, you are faithful to supply all the listeners' needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. You promised it, we believe it, therefore we have spoken it. Father, we call in the harvest to what the listener has given. Show them, Father, where they can plant seed and sow by giving so that you can multiply what they give. Glory. We ask for wise counselors and teachers who can teach and show the listener all about stewarding what you have given them. Grant the listener, Father, wisdom, revelation, and understanding about how to look after and grow what you supply in Jesus' name. In terms of finances, God, it is you who gives the listener the power to get wealth, that you may establish your covenant. Glory. The listener worships you only. They have no other gods before you. We praise you that you are able to make all grace, every favor, and earthly blessing come to the listener in abundance so that they are always and under all circumstances have enough to give to every good work and charitable donation. The Bible says that the psalmist David never saw the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Father, we thank you for food, clothing, shelter, and everything else the listener needs. They are abundantly supplied. It is you, Father, who liberally supplies the listener's every need. We thank you for it. Right now, in Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus over the listener, their family, and their relationships. We call them all protected in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that your angels guard them wherever they may go. We bind your peace and your favor around the listener now, so that your very presence in their life is making a way for them, Father, where there may not even seem to be a way. Yes, your anointing rests richly on the listener, and where they go, you go. Hallelujah. Devil, what you stole from the listener, we command you to return sevenfold in Jesus' name. We are taking it back. We speak restoration over the listener's life, Father, and over the listener in every area, no matter how small or big, we call it richly restored. We thank you for miraculous outbreaks, Father, and breakthroughs, Father, in the listener's life. Turn around every turnaround. Hallelujah. Lastly, we declare that everything in the listener's life work together for good. Everything in Jesus' name is coming together and working itself out. As the listener seeks you, Father, you are working things out. In areas, Father, where the listener may have felt stuck, 
We call them free in Jesus' name. Father, where they may have seemed to have been unable to move forward, thank you, Father, that by your grace and your power working in them, they are moving forward. We declare that their relationship with you is above all else, prospering and bearing abundant fruit in Jesus' name. Yes, Father, the listener is getting closer and closer to you, and their relationship with you, Father, is prospering. Thank you, Father, that all their needs are met by you. We believe and receive everything we prayed and give you glory in advance, for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.